In this video, I'm going to continue to show you the evidence to demonstrate that man is not one species, but instead man is three species. This view is very unique and it is not held or identified by any other source currently alive today or having ever existed. Hence, it is truly groundbreaking and it provides insight into the behaviours of human beings that have never been observed before. So far, we've established that the current view of human evolution lacks any basis of fact and that science has failed to define humans and identify who are we. Additionally, observations of our nearest relatives, the great apes, suggests that each different breed has distinctly different behaviors and that these can be identified by the traits that exist within them. Notably, each different type of ape has different types of traits. We can surmise that these trait and type combinations may equally apply to humans as well as our ape relative. However, can this be empirically tested and hence be proven as fact? If we can, then we may finally be able to define who are we. To do this, we must identify a basis by which we can establish facts that can be proven and if this can be done, then the argument that man is three species will displace the theory of evolution put forward by Charles Darwin. You may ask why this is important for humankind. And the answer to this is that the implications are huge. If the viewpoint that man is three species is correct, then all three species are distinctly different in their diet, their medicinal need, their education and learning, their reasoning, their behavior, their sexual preferences, their crimes, and so on. Hence, this is redefining for man a one fit for all approach to humans in all aspects of our social sphere is inadequate and verging on derisory. I am Mr. Cut. My name is Gregory Hayward. This is a very important name. Right now, we must continue to reset the human compass. Evolution fails the test of empirical legitimacy. However, whilst the assertions in this paper that man is three species are hypothetical at present, they do provide for highly testable validity. And when these tests are conducted, the premise for accuracy on empirical grounds will be established. For example, ginger and blonde haired people will predominantly have blue eyes and their inherent traits will be individual and robust as opposed to sensitive and gregarious. Likewise, the observations that are made and that are given in the table can be tested and verified as fact. Hence, in summary, a new theory of commonology based upon a convergent horizontal relationship with our eight partners has the capacity to supersede the divergent lateral descent of man from the apes known as the theory of evolution. And finally answers the question for humans, who are we? What this means is that the argument that humans evolved from the apes is wrong and that the apes merely act as our close relatives. And in doing so, their behaviors are seen to be very similar to those of humans. A moment ago, I introduced you to the new concept of commonology. This is a new subject and within the next 1000 years, it will replace science. Inherently, commonology will entail that humans will look the other way and find truth. For example, whilst man searched for the reason for the 1.4% divergence in the ape DNA, it failed to look at the 98.6% commonality. The reason that man has always looked the wrong way is because too often, and in too many cases, we choose to live in denial of the reality of the world we live in. Hence, we fail to find the answers to simple questions, and we always fail to find the answers to the big questions. I mentioned before that there should be four species, but there are not. You may have noticed earlier in the table demonstrating the zoological observations of the great apes that the gorilla trait combination was sensitive and robust. This cannot happen because these two traits are opposite and this is not possible. You cannot have both. You can only have one or the other. But the observations of the gorilla were true. 
So this must be true. If not, what is going on? In much the same way, we are faced with the conundrum of the chicken and the egg, in which we can never determine which one came first. The answer to both of these impossibilities is simple. It is provided in the textbook of everything, the book that I've identified as the Holy Bible. For now, I have given you the argument for humans being three species from a logical, human-driven perspective, which included human activity. For example, zoology, correlation, anthropology, etc. But this is not where I originally learned that man is three species. I learned this when I deciphered the word YHWH, which is thought to be the old oldest word in the human language and the undecipherable tetragrammaton, the four-lettered, unpronounceable name of God. Look again at the last table I presented that gave the common physical characteristics of each trait combination of the three species of man. In the left-hand column, the undecipherable word YHWH, which is the Hebraic biblical name for God, is provided. This is very exciting. Find out more in future episodes of this series that are due for production and release later this year. Here's a clue. The fourth human species should exist, but it does not. This has a lot to do with the fiendish firmament introduced to us in the biblical creation event. Genesis chapter 1 verse 6. And God said, let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters, and let it divide the waters from the waters. In Hebrew, the word firmament means that which is fixed, steadfast, expanse. Think of the firmament as a spike and that it impacted upon YHWH in such a colossal event that the mountain erupted into life. The word mountain is a variant of the Hebrew name God. The mountain is the expanse which exists today as the unit, but more importantly, what then is YHWH? YHWH is the original Hebrew name for God and it is unpronounceable and it has never been deciphered. Understand this and humans have the answer to life, the universe and everything. And it is coming. The only language I speak is the truth. There is much to say. Keep watching Mr. Cup.